Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Lisa, and um, today I'm going to be filming myself putting a top layer on some epoxy. I'm using an epoxy form, um, or silicone form, I guess is what you call it, um, to make some shot glass holders. So I have some friends that wanted a tray, and I've just been making like a rectangle type trays and doing pours in them and covering them with epoxy. But they said it was because they wanted to be able to carry some shots upstairs or downstairs um, and not like bring like a whole bottle with them or whatever uh, when they were passing them out. So um, I searched around on the internet and I found these this silicone shape. And um, so I made some shot holders. So you put the glass in like that in there and then you can just carry it where you need to go and because it's got this lip thing in here um it will um you know keep it from falling over falling down so this is one that i did with just some little rocks and then some um blue mica with the epoxy and i just did it all in one pour um there's some other ones i've done in layers i also did this one all in one pour with fresh flowers Okay, so that's just all in one pour. And it's really great, it's got this little thing right here, this little hole in here, so like you could hang it up in your kitchen or hang it up over your bar or whatever. Um, the first one that I did was this one. Doo -doo. I really like this with the black. This is the example that I saw when I found them. Oops, you know, look, I got a little bit of boo-boo there. That's my first one. But I do love seeing the flowers with the black. I think it's really pretty, and I'm gonna do some more of that. Here's another one I did, and I put the shot glasses in it just to show you guys. So, and this is, take it out, it's still drying a little bit, so it's a little bit flimsy. Oh yeah, it's still drying, see that's what it does, so you have to keep it flat, I'll have to put a book on it. So it takes longer than you think to dry, but I ordered some rocks online and just decided to put them in there in the epoxy and it says take your best shot or let me see what does it say oh give it give it give it your best shot so if you're not a drinker you could also use this if you were um you know gonna do some carrots juice shots or some greens or something like that too if everybody in the morning does something like that okay now i'm gonna go ahead and go out to um, my garage where I film and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Stay tuned. Okay, here are two that I have um, already got the stones in. So you can see that there's still some room in here for a color to go in. Okay, and you can see that I've got a little bit of epoxy on here, but this part's not covered. This is rose quartz. Um, actually, I think I stuck an amethyst in there, it looks like. But for the most part, it's all rose quartz, and um, I think it's really pretty. And I'm just gonna do like a brown, because I think it'll help to bring out the pink. So, because this is how it will be when it's done. It'll be flat on this side, of course, and everything will show through. But, so this is basically the back side of it. So I'm gonna put some brown there, and then I don't know what color to put in these rocks. This is uh, lovely. I have a lot of different stones in here. So I made, I mixed this one up pretty good. Um, it's really pretty. I think there's some Jasper in there, maybe some Tiger's Eye. I'd have to go through it. I'm not sure what this is, this bluestone, but I think it looks really pretty. So I'm not gonna leave it clear just because I want to see what one looks like with a color around it, but I'm gonna keep it light. Okay, I'll be back and then um, I'll pour the rest of the epoxy in there. Okay, and you can see how I do it. Hello, I'm back. Okay, I've mixed this epoxy and I can't remember how many ounces I should use. I know it's like almost eight ounces if you're not gonna put anything in there, but I have these rocks in there, so I'm not sure. 
Now, if you can take a look at that, you can see there's a lot of bubbles in there. It's counterintuitive there to show you guys that. But you can see all those bubbles in there. So I'll be using my, um, my torch to get the bubbles out. And part of why there's so many bubbles in there is because I'm working with cold epoxy and it's probably in the low 50s today or something in my you know fahrenheit so there's a ton of bubbles so i don't want there to be bubbles in there when it dries so i can resolve that by um using my torch or you can use a heat gun okay you can warm up your epoxies if you want to i've actually seen somebody put them in the microwave i'm afraid to do that right now maybe i'll try it sometime um, but you can get some really warm water in like a little tub, you know, a little plastic tub thing or something from the dollar store and you can lay your epoxy in there and let it warm up a little bit. And then that will stop you from having, can you, I don't know if you can see bubbles on the side there, kind of, yeah. Um, that will stop you from having as many bubbles, okay? So there's that. So first one I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna move this out of the way real quick. So, is I think I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna use a light green. I'm wondering if I should use a dark color because these stones are all so dark, but I want the stones to pop. And um, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna put some of that in there. So let's see what happens. And um, you can screw up a lot by doing it the way that I'm doing because I didn't bring a little spoon out to measure it. So let's just see what this does. So we incorporate this in. Could be really pretty. I'm thinking most people might wanna have this in their kitchen. So I know green and blue are really popular. And this is pretty transparent. So as you can see, when I bring it up, see how it looks pretty clear. So I think I'll add a little bit more green to it. So it's not so transparent. So, but I'm not, it's not gonna be a lot. I didn't want it to be a really heavy color because I do want the stones to really show, but that's very, very opaque right there. So we're gonna put a little more color in there. You can always add more color, right? But you can't. You can't take it out. And it's very shimmery. I don't know if you can see that with the light. I think I got a shadow, but it's pretty shimmery. It's really pretty. I order most of my stuff on Amazon because of COVID. I don't really want to go out too much. I do order from Blick, B-L-I-K, I think is how you spell it. There's one in Portland. I live about 14 miles outside of Portland, so I don't want to get in my car and go there unless I have to. But sometimes it's nice to get out and do a little looking around. But we're pretty much in lockdown here. Okay, I'm back. Got my battery fixed. I thought I plugged it in when I got out here, but I guess <laughs> I plugged it into the outlet, but not into my iPad. Okay, so that's still pretty transparent, but I can see a little more color, so let's see what happens with that. So I'm gonna scrape it out, pour it in. Sometimes epoxy, I try to do it slow. I really should probably have something with like a little lip on it or something, you know, for pouring. Okay. This to me is the hardest part right here. Going around this edge where the little thing is that makes the hole. Whoop, there, I went right over it. I can fix that though. It's self-leveling. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but I don't want to go over the edge. I'm gonna get down here and get up close with it so I can see what I'm doing.
It looks like a couple of rocks might stick out a little bit. They're already in that first layer of epoxy, so they're not gonna come loose. That is looking pretty full to me. I don't think I wanna put any more in it. I have a little bit left, not much, but I'd say I judged it pretty good. So let's torch it. There's that. So you're not going to get to see the final until after it dries in a couple of days. Because, um, of course, this is upside down right here. So now I want to do a little bit of this, but I'm going to keep it pretty opaque. I'm not going to make it really dark. I think that will bring out the pink. Then I want to put a little this glitter in it. So... I'll mix up my epoxy. Okay, guys. We are ready to get this lovely pink quartz. This stone is good for healing. For healing love relationships. Okay. And bringing love to you. Okay. I love pink quartz or rose quartz actually it's called rose quartz okay here's my epoxy again didn't want to bore you with it um it doesn't look cloudy or it looks real weird when you mix them together so there's two parts but as you can see lots of bubbles so i will have to torch it and again it's because it's cold so first thing i'm going to add i think is the glitter i want to do that so see. Ooh, 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 we're gonna make it shimmery. Okay, maybe that's too much. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's pretty. Actually, I wonder if I should just do the glitter in the background. still going to be really light now. Okay. I'm liking it. Oh, I wish you guys could see what I can see. I'm really liking the light on that. Real pretty. Nice little glow to it. So let's just put a little bit of this brown in there. Just a tiny little bit. I wanna say that I'm not promoting al drinking alcohol with these. The American Medical Association says you shouldn't have more than two drinks a day. That would be two 12 ounce beers, two glasses of wine, or about an ounce and a half shot of 80 proof, which is about 40% alcohol. That's the recommendation. If you're somebody who can't control your drinking or you start drinking and you don't wanna stop because you're having too much fun, I'd recommend taking a look at that. But also, if you live in the United States, just know that most states are zero tolerance now. Oregon is a zero tolerance state, which means we have a legal limit of 0.08 if you have a regular driver's license. If you have a CDL driver's license, the legal limit's 0.04. And if you're under 21, the legal limit is 0.02. But because it's a zero tolerance state, you can get a DUI for any amount in your system. 
So you could get pulled over and have a 0.02 or a 0.04 and you could still get a DUI. And it's legal for that. So you'd have to fight it. And I don't know how much that costs. So just know that if you have a drink, you should wait 40 minutes to one hour before you're at a zero. And that doesn't mean if you have a 40 ounce beer or 22 ounce beer, that's like a 12 ounce beer. So can't go by how you feel because everybody has a different tolerance. We could have the same amount to drink. I could be falling off my chair and you could be like, oh, I'm totally fine to drive. But that part doesn't matter. What matters is what's in your system. You ask me how I know this? Well, let's just say I do. Not because I got one. <laughs> but I do know this. Okay, I think that looks lovely. I, I like brown a lot, you guys. I love brown. Ooh, they're pretty. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, I hope it goes good. All right, I'm gonna pour it. Wish me luck, wish me luck. Um, always remember too that if you're going to have flowers or you're going to do something with like a light colored rock or something like that, if you decide you want to do something like this or if you want to do it in another application of silicone, you know, just to switch it up a little bit, you're going to want to do it in two parts. Okay, so I have this clear, I put my rocks in about, I don't know, three days ago or something. Maybe it was Friday, I don't remember. Today's Tuesday here for me, so. But I put them in there and um, I haven't touched it since. This is a really good little silicone holder thing and like the epoxy is just gonna peel right away, from, right away from it. It's not like stuck in there. So um, you wanna make sure that you have that clear coat to show off whatever it is that you have that's going to be facing up okay if you put your, add your color right in to your clear and i did i made that mistake with the very first one i did the one i showed you guys that's black it's got the white flowers now the white flowers still show up but there's um a section in there where one of the flowers just like totally got saturated by the black so it um you can only see like half the flower you guys might not have noticed it. I notice it because, you know, of course, I'm studying it a lot more. But so just make sure you have that clear coat. I did buy this little gizmo on Amazon, and I didn't even know they had them. I was just searching around looking to see what I could do besides doing the... Um, coasters. A lot of people do the coasters and I just wanted to see what else was out there. I do love epoxy. Um, I don't like getting it on my hands. It, it can be really smelly. I'd have to always do this in the garage and then I cover it up. But I like to epoxy. My, I also do fluid art, paint pours, and I also paint as well. Um, with acrylics and then I like to cover my art in the epoxy because it just especially if you like shimmer like I love to work with shimmery paints and then when I epoxy it man it just really brings it out really nice it's getting kind of close here it needs a little bit more here though I have to be so careful because I don't want to go over that th that area where the hole is going to be to hang it up yeah, we're getting there now. I'd say I'm about there. And you can see there's a little bit of rock protruding. Um, I have another one that I've already set up that's ready to go. I was really careful this time to not um, not let the rock stick out in there. I have to go and look. Okay, so I'm going to get the bubbles out. I think you might be able to see the shimmer. Oh, you can see the bubbles real good. Let me turn the slide out here. 
Does that help with the glare? I don't know. Let's see if we can see those bubbles come out. Oh yeah, look at that. Boom. See all those bubbles in there? I'm gonna get the bubbles out. I just don't want it to dry with a bunch of air bubbles in there. I'll go over this again in a little bit. This one's been sitting. So you can see here, you can almost see the, the cutouts where the shot holders are. As it starts to settle. So let's see, yep, there's more bubbles here. More bubbles have come up to the surface. So I'm gonna get those out. I think I'm losing some of my um, butane or whatever it is, my lighter fluid stuff that's in here. Um, I hope that was informative to you. If you want, so I, I mixed up four ounces that was with the rocks in there. If you do flowers, I would say you're going to want to mix up close to eight ounces, seven or eight ounces to get a full pour. If you decide you want to make one of these and I will cover it and I will wait until, um, tomorrow. I'll probably sneak a peek at it tomorrow afternoon if I can. Otherwise I'll wait till tomorrow night. And I'll take a look at it, but I'll probably leave it in this little tray for like almost 24 hours and then I'll take it out and then it will still be flimsy. It'll still, it, you know, it'll still want to bend. So then sometimes what I do is I'll take it and I'll just put a couple of really heavy books on there and, um, and let it sit like that for about two days. And then, okay, you guys, thanks for watching. Peace and love.